For today's work, what we're going to do is consider part five of the linking. And we're going to go down through some achievements by a lot of people who feel very strongly about their good work and who want to share. And they're doing most of this for free. Now, of course, we do some work that we you know, need to be paid for, but you're going to find the highest quality work is what they put together into a package that says buy this for $10 or $20, $30, $40, 50 $70. The bottom line is that we save a tremendous amount of time if the tool or the plug-in is what we want. And you might want to go to the dictionary and discover plugins and what they really do. For the most part, they're just stacks that we put in a certain location to make them available so that when we choose to work with aligning or images or a calendar or controls of some sort, these are available. We don't have to use them. They don't consume the resources unless we choose to open them and say, now we want them. And it's more like a library. Choices. One thing is working with fields and fonts. That can be quite daunting when you get into the, the idiosyncrasies of live code, but there are some tools out there called plugins that will really help you with that. Same thing with database access. So let's get on with the recording. And here's a presenter from two weeks ago. His name is Ronald Zellner. Now, he has some very interesting stuff he's done, and it looks like he wants to help out with our group, and uh, he's at Texas A&M University, and he has a quite, a quite a body of knowledge and experience with Revolution, and it's nice that he's joined our group. I would like to try and get somebody back into the group. I think he's gotten busy with his other businesses, but this is Ian James Wood, who's gone to some of our um, live events, taken pictures, has some very interesting stuff. Um, at this point, here's a Run Rev Live 09 conference, and you may want to look down through here because you're going to find out there's some people. There's Heather, there's Jackie and Andre. Here are some people that work at Run Rev. The names are listed here. There's James, uh, there's Ian James Wood. Uh, there's Joe Hernandez. There's Richmond in his kilt. There's Kevin speaking. And Heather is the author. So some of these things that we do can pull people together and build the community. And that's really the point I'm trying to make here with some of these links in the page. You can go through and find those things that are up here. Again, is Bridger Maxwell. And he's you know, the log, blogging and so on as we speak. There are reference sites, and some of them are really valuable. One I want to mention for sure is So Smart Software. And the reason you don't hear much about this is the gentleman who created this, his name is Eric Chatenay. And um, I believe, um, I believe he, he, he died about three years ago. But his site lives on, and he has a lot of great tutorials for people that want to get into how to build quality code and a quality result. And I'm not going to go through all of those. The, the next part I want to do, just to show you that it's out there and should, you should be thinking about this, is YouTube and some presenters. There's very little out there on YouTube or Vimeo. Um, but here's RunRev Planet doing a great job with in informational videos. And I like to see more videos get out there because some people will sit and watch a video, even if it doesn't have sound. They'll sit there and complain in the chat window for, for let's see. Let's see, Scott Morrow. Yes, oh, I should show a little bit of Scott Morrow because uh, he has some interesting stuff. He's a school teacher. He's been doing it for 20 years in Bellingham, Washington, north of Seattle. And he has a small lab he keeps putting together with, you know, scotch tape and old Macintoshes. And he teaches people that are just people. Haha, <laughs> he calls them people, but they're, they're kids who are just now to the point where they can use a computer. That's his, his classmates. And he's done some interesting software. And uh, so I want to show you one more here while we're looking at video. 
And this is 40 Foxes, our friend David Bova. He has what's called Mediathedia, uh, and that link will take you to a lot of videos he's done. And some of them we've seen, some are presentations, and of course they're going to be pretty in-depth. Here's another gentleman that uh, does quite a bit with video. And he's mostly, I think, getting into the iOS. For the iOS people, you want to see some of the stuff he's presenting. Oblio Beck. Now, we have this one, which is the stream from two weeks ago. Very interesting presentation, a little over an hour, but I'll tell you, it was just, it was compelling to watch what he and his staff, his students, have done with Revolution. And, of course, we're watching an ad because I'm, I'm streaming it off of Ustream here, so I'll get past that. But that's in our archive. Another source of video is back to world news, and it's downloading here. This is world news again, and this is where we did just a search term hypercard. And I'm also going to, and it'll pop up their video, I'm going to show you another term you could use when you go to WN.com, and that's just live code. And Live Code actually has a feature. Now, of course, we get the Xbox notation because Xbox is most of what's in here. But the second one on the list is a minute and 15 seconds that has to do with Live Code 4.6. So we, we are mentioned on a news site that aggregates video clips. And it would be interesting if we could put together some video clips to talk about what we do, and the news, we might get picked up on the news here, and some people might say, well, who are these people talking on Saturdays? And uh, so it's interesting, but here they're talking about the, um, the mobile features, and I'll let this go ahead and play a little bit. And now I'm going to go on and uh, let's see, where is, I can't find it at the moment. So the video is pretty much, and of course you see Kevin in the, uh, in the screen here. What I want to do in conclusion is show you that, and I'll give you the web page address here. And now we're getting to something else that has to do with live code that's not us. It's just part of the feed. And what I'm going to do is view toolbars, navigation toolbar. And I'm going to go to and I'll paste it in here. This is the web page that's on our handy dandy site. And as you go down through the page, you will see not only the list of people, but you'll, all, you'll see all the links that I've been using today, plus a bunch more that I skipped. The idea is that we were trying to pull a community together. There's a lot of old stuff out there that helps us, and a lot of people we should probably just.